Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Whoopi speaking, and uh, I would like to uh, start a new series of video because I would like to go deeper in the Lockridge device. The Lockridge device is a motor generator which should work on itself. So the test here is to get this motor I modified, as you have already seen, this is only one set of magnets here, and on the other side is only counterweight, nothing, no magnets at all. On this point here you see a very small magnet, it is for the hole which is here, you see the hole here, all right? And on the Lockridge device, it should normally, if I charge a capacitor, a big one, as this one, it should perhaps get enough power to turn the machine. So what I will do now in this first video, I put the small magnet in position here. I will charge here, tack, 20 volt, shut down, and I will slowly put, oh yes, it turns, okay, let's do another time, okay, here, in position, zero power, okay, charging the cap, discharging the cap, uh, the, Power supply, enter. Yes, the energy inside can turn it here, no problem. All right. Now what I will do is to check if with this one impulse per turn we could get a better uh, drawing, a draw of currents. So I will put now the power on to 20 volts and turn the motor. So it is starting now. What else? And I break a slow speed. As you can see the amps doesn't go higher but lower. When I go up and I break. As you can see, the end draw is not going higher at low speed. Very good torque and very low amp draw. Okay, I will show you now the circuit I use now because show you and now I will show you something else much more it is all the fat I fire today with this request perhaps if somebody has a better idea I will be very happy okay and this is here the circuits with the fat so a big cap Okay, thanks for watching, good night.